He will reign down to man his righteousness. Number six is the word greater. Greater. Look at John chapter 14. John chapter 14. I'm reading there from verse 12. John chapter 14, verse 12. It says, Very liberally I say unto you. Who is the Lord talking to here? Peter. He's talking to James. He's talking to John. He's talking to the pastor. Who is he talking to here? Wonderful year. Wonderful year. Very liberally I say unto you. He that believeth in me, the works I do, he shall do also. And greater, and greater, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. Because he saw the Father. And that is what he's demanding from the Father concerning you. That greater thing is going to happen this year. Haggai chapter 2. Haggai chapter 2. I'm reading there from verse 9. Haggai chapter 2, verse 9. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former. As I look at you, the temple of God, as I look at you, the house of God, and as I look at this old church, the glory of this latter house shall be greater than that of the former in Jesus' name. Then says, says the Lord of hosts, in this place will I give peace, says the Lord of hosts. And I want you to remember what a ch whatever challenge you are facing this year, the greater one lives inside you. And because the greater one abides in you, nothing will defeat you in Jesus' name. First John, first John chapter 4, and I'm reading from verse 4. Ye of God little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Who is in the world? Satan in the world. The one who lives inside you is greater than Satan. All those powers of darkness in the world, the one who lives inside you is greater than all those powers of darkness. All those destroyers, destroyers in the night and destroyers in the day. The one that lives inside you, greater is he that abides and dwells in you than he that lives in the world. And now he gives us the final scene after he's better, after after higher, after being stronger, after being whiter and purer, after being healthier and greater, he now says more and more, more and more. You wake up any day this year, you say, praise the Lord today. Today is the day of more and more. And then this week, we're beginning this week now. This is the week of more and more. And this month is the month of more and more. And this year is the year of more and more. Look at Psalm 115. Psalm 115. Psalm 115. I'm reading there from verse 14. Always remember that this year, don't, don't just bow your head in sorrow and say it's come again. The problems have begun again. The harassment of the devil has started. The sorrow has started again. Don't say that because this is the difference here. Come on and come over to the other side. And let those better things be revealed unto you. And let those uh, higher things be given unto you. And let the stronger life and the stronger one live big in you. Let the greater one live in you and make you pure and make you healthier. Don't say this year they have started again. Nothing of the past will start this year again in Jesus' name. More and more, more and more, more and more. Look at Psalm 115 verse 14. The Lord shall increase you more and more. Your business, more and more. Your schooling, more and more. Your family, more and more. And then, you know, those who have not married, they say, well, I'm not married yet. I'm not going to have more and more. Just wait. Be listening for the announcement. I'm going to get all those single people together. All these people that, you know, above 25, 27, 33, 40 something, and then they are not married yet. I'm going to break whatever yoke is there in your life this year. And then when you hear the announcement, you say, all those single people, men and women, come together. If I'm having it here, then all the people everywhere you are gathered together. And with one single stroke, we're going to break every yoke in Jesus' name. 
not only that this year is the year of more and more after i finish with the singles i'm going to get on the couples all the couples they say look at our lives pastor and seeking for everything you are looking for in counseling i'm going to get everybody together in one single stroke and then i break every the anointing that breaks the yoke is going to be preaching this year in jesus name and then I bring all those families together and then we say more and more. And then when I, maybe before I finish that, I'm going to get on our young people, the younger people, they be, when are we going to hear his voice? You know, I, I just, I spoke to the national coordinator of uh, youth uh, this week and I was telling him, and tell me the time the exam of these young people, tell me the time when the exam is coming. And before that exam comes, I'm going to get all the young people together and I'm going to, I'm going to take the whip and drive that failure away from their lives. But you know, this year, when I turn to the youth, it is more and more. I turn to the singles more and more. I turn to the adults more and more. And then the workers, you know, well, the workers, we just finished our mini congress about two weeks ago. And some just finished it last week. And then I want them to rest and swallow and sink in what they have had during that mini congress. And then a few, a few weeks from now, I'm going to get all those workers together. I'm going to brush them up. I'm going to cleanse them and wash them. All those seeds, the cobweb of the devil, inside anybody's brain, I get all those workers together, sweep everything away, so that what I'm talking about, pastor, is more and more. I'm talking to the workers, is more and more. I'm talking to the families, is more and more. I'm talking to those youth, uh, more and more. I was, I was checking all my notes. I said, why right, about all our Congress, campus congress and all that? I get all those campus people together and telling you this year, more and more. Everybody shout more and more. It will happen. I said it will happen. You will see the blessing of God overflowing, overflowing your life in Jesus' name. And hey, look at Psalm 115, Psalm 115, verse 14. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. You and your children. You and your children. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 18. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Give me a good amen. amen. Point number two now. Point number two. Our progress with Christ towards an expedient future. Our progress with Christ towards an expedient future. I'm coming back to Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4, I'm reading now from verse 36. After Jesus Christ said, let us pass over onto the other side. Then they moved on and see what happened. I'm reading this to you so that you will understand. No matter what happens between now and December, we're going to get to that other side. And don't you, don't, don't say what, but look at this, but look at this, but look at this. We're going to be looking unto Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith. And we know that whatever may happen in this journey, this journey of faith, we're going to get to that better side, higher side, greater side in Jesus' name. Look at verse 36. And when they had sent away the multitude, they took him even as he was in the sheep. And there were also with him other little sheep. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the into the sheep, so that it was now full. And he was in the part in the inner part of the sheep, asleep on a pillow. And they are. You have received the message from our pastor, Pastor W. F. Kumoye, the general superintendent of the Palais Bible Church. It is my wish that as you listen, you accept the old word, and you will let them sink into the, your hearts. And by the grace of the Lord, you will never regret it. It is my prayer that by next week, when our pastor shall come up again to present another message, you will be there, your family will be there, and your friends. And I believe as you are listening to the message every week, by the grace of the Lord, you will never be the same. Let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord, because of today's message. We thank you, O Lord, because of the one you let us listen to last week. 
and the one we are going to listen to the next week by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ if you tarry we shall listen together once again next week and if not every one of us will be there with you in the kingdom of God in Jesus name thank you Lord because you are the Lord that answer prayer in Jesus name we pray Amen